Hello, everybody. Um, sorry, it's my computer. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna shut it for now. Um, <laughs> again. Hello. Um, I recently posted a picture on Facebook, and um, it was you know just some of my little dolls, you know, mixture compositions and a few other dolls. You know, they were just having a little tea party and um and people noticed a little composition doll actually I'm like, I gotta have her right here um sitting at the table and one was like that's a nice patsy I'm like oh she's not a patsy um I'm, I'm not lucky enough enough to own a F&B patsy yet um but they're like and then someone else I think it was my friend Jeff who said, Stephen, we don't see your old dolls that much. Um, and I was sitting there going, he's actually really right. Um, I tend to take a lot of pictures of my new dolls, especially the Monster Highs and my BJDs, because they're so photogenic, you can pose them and, you know, all that stuff, and they're just something lifelike really about them and I want to show people some of my old older dolls which some of my oldest dolls are my composition dolls and I actually have all of them on my bed right now ready to show you including this girl which as you see she has a whole cloth body and composition arms and cloth feet and she's really cute got her in Indiana I, she might be an early horseman don't know okay this is my biggest composition girl Ugh. she's so pretty eh, sometimes I get the lazy eyes she's She's so pretty though. Sure, she's got some problems here and there, but she is actually an F and B Rosemary. Walk and talk sleep. Her of course her voice box no longer works. But sh this is actually the biggest composition girl I own. And um She's precious to me. Got her in Charleston. It was a great memory. Okay. Um. This is an ideal composition doll. Take off this hat. Sorry, her her wig is not in the best shape, but you can see her face better. Um. Interesting story with this girl. I actually. When I was shadowing a um, photographer for school and high school, um, we went to an antique store up in Little Mountain, South Carolina, which is a, a few hours away away from here. Um, never been to this place before. And I was walking around an antique store up there because, you know, what, where better else to take pictures of than an antique store? I mean, so many beautiful things there. And I saw this beautiful doll, and I took a picture of it, of her. And I made that picture one of the backgrounds on my computer screen. And years later, I got a Lawrence, which is about, uh, I don't know, half an hour away from here. Doll, the same exact doll, her, was sitting in an antique store up there. I thought it was fate, and I had to buy her. And here she is. Okay, here is another doll. I'm guessing German. German composition. Open mouth. Um, composition. Hands. Cloth body and legs. Um, she has a little damage on her head. But she's super cute. And I got her in North Carolina. Most of these dolls are unmarked. So I don't know much about their makings. Okay. This girl I actually had restored by a lady on Facebook. Um, 
And I thought she did a pretty good job. She is very old. As you see, her legs are not even. That was how she was made. That was not from the restoration. This was actually how she was made. But her body is stuffed with straw made out of a burlap material. And this is actually the original dress she came with. Probably handmade by um, her original owner. But um, when I got her, she was a mess. A complete and total mess. Face was, you couldn't even tell it was a face. But um, she got molded hair and everything. She's very lovely. Much are quite pleased with her restoration. Um, <laughs> I bought this one not long ago at a yard sale. This is my only black composition doll. And she's in this style of a bilo baby. You know, just a little baby. Not in the best condition. Little hands are a little chipped and stuff. And the back of the head and stuff is a little worn. But still, um, African American babies, composition babies, are very rare and very hard to find. So I snatched her up at, a, at the yard sale, and luckily the person having the yard sale was a good friend of the family, and she gave her to me for a, a good price. Okay, this girl I got in Indiana. This is a horseman, I think, baby golden doll with magic skin hand hands and arm arms and legs this outfit came on her I'm not sure if it's original or not could be a replacement but if it is a replacement it, it is a good replacement cause it fits her nicely and it looks good on her I think I paid about $25 for her up in Indiana but her Face is good. She has a, the cutest little face, and her hair and wig is good, and the outfit is also good. So I thought she was a steal. Of course, as you notice, her arms and legs are starting to brown, like most most magic skin dolls do. But that's okay. I do take precautions, and I clean her nicely. Matter of fact, she needs it again. She's starting to get a little sticky. Okay. This is probably one of the oldest composition dolls. I know the company that produced her um, closed many years ago and they produced these dolls over a hundred years ago. This is Rosie. I bought her at an auction. She came in this condition. Uh, I saw... Uh, I'm a sucker for dolls. I see them like children, almost, and when I see a battered doll, especially like this, I go, oh, you poor thing, come home with me, come home with me, I will take care of you. And her lot came up for about $15, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, mine, mine, mine. So I bought her in a box lot with a bunch of other dolls. For fifteen dollars. Um, so this is Rosie, and she has a straw, straw stuffed body. This is a replacement dress by me. I know it's not potentially error correct for her, but it does look sweet on her, and it's the only thing I can seem to find that fits her. And it's not like she's ever complained. I think I, personally, I think she likes the color pink. Um, this is another horseman doll. As you can see, its eyes have, you know, done what the worst, what we all hate. And they have shattered on the inside. Poor darling. When I bought this doll, its head was off and beside it, its body. The, um,. <laughs> I, but I was so excited because the seller was a guy and this, his wife collected the dolls and he said, he, he, he told me the best bit of information. No emotional attachment, which is awesome for a collector. 
because I got him for almost nothing. So I plan on maybe one day, you know, might get him fixed up. He's he's a darling. He's a sweetheart. So yeah. Okay. This is a recent buy. This is one of the dolls I bought from the doll last doll show up in Charlotte, North Carolina. Last time y'all saw her, she was naked. This is her and her outfit that was handmade for her by someone, I guess. But it even has cute little bloomers with little lacings and socks and stockings and shoes. And it's just so adorable. And she is so adorable in it. I mean, come on. Hello. Um, my mom got me this one and I'm like, wow. Um, this is a drink and wet composition baby. As you can see, the tube does not like to stay in. But yeah, it's still there though. That's the main thing. It's still there. Okay. Honestly, people, I did not know I had this many composition dolls. I wonder how many dolls I have all together. I've been asked that question a lot, and I tell them, do you have a few hours for me to count? Because it's going to take that long. <laughs> this is a little composition baby boy. Um, He's, again, in the style of the famous Bilo Baby by Grace Putnam. Um, he has a composition head, cloth body and legs, um, but celluloid plastic hands. And a little rattle. He is super cute. I bought him from an antique store here, not far from here. And he was just so super cute. Okay. Um, I'm guessing this is another horseman. It fits the style. I bought this from the last doll show in Greenville from a nice lady who I see at other doll shows, and she's always willing to be nice and cut a deal. But I'm guessing she's another horseman. Sorry, her eyes get a little lazy sometimes. And, um... She's in this lovely redressed outfit. She had some crazing going on on her legs, but I tried to do my best to take care of that. And, um, otherwise, she is a cute little baby. I have her sitting in a high chair most of the time. Uh, okay, I'm trying my best to be very gentle with them and not mess them up. This is a little doll I got from Indiana not long ago. Um, just a little, she's a cute little composition doll. And um, she's very small because she has a cloth body. She's, uh, she's kind of the smallest I've seen of this kind of doll. So that, that was very interesting for me. And this one, this is also one of my prized dolls. And I love her to bits, and I hope one day I can get her restored. I bought her an auction as well. <laughs> this is a Madame Alexander doll. She has her tag. It's a French-sounding name. Madeleine de Bain. Um, that's the name on her tag. But I don't know what that means. Um, people are like, oh, well, that's the name, Madeline DeBain. I'm like, okay, well, who is Madeline DeBain? Um, was she the designer of the dress? Did she design the sculpt of the doll? Um, is this doll made after her? Was she an actress? Was she a model? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And I would love to know more about this doll because I have never seen this doll before in any catalog or in any magazine there's only been one time I've seen a random picture on the internet and it was for a doll restoration site and they only had one picture 
and it was for her eyes. But um, she's beautiful. She has her socks, which have lost their elastic, so they don't like to stay up. But she has her underwear, her shoes, and everything, and she's just beautiful. Unfortunately, her eyes, her beautiful eyes, have cracked. But her hair is still beautiful. And I take care of her with pride, and I dust her dress to make sure you know, and her hair. I, I try to take as good a care as I can with her. And I do have to admit with some of my dolls, as I've been growing and progressing in this hobby, I have not taken the best of care of in the past. She was one of them. I had her sitting on the floor next to a vent, an AC vent. And I did not know at the time that the dramatic change in temperatures could affect my composition dolls so badly. When I found that out, I got her up off the floor and I got a doll stand for her and I put her away from the vents and things like that. So, But I, I am still growing and I'm still learning in this hobby. And I have such great friends here to help me learn and grow. Well, I see I am actually at 16 minutes. I will be lucky if 